Hello, I am Brett Dupree, and welcome to my awesome health journey. I already said my name, and so there's no point for me saying that this is my awesome health journey. How do you like my slinket? This would be perfect for the Grimace Shake. I want to save money on my uh, electric bill, and I work from home, and I thought, you know what? I got myself a heater, which is just the way it's plugged in. It's going to be hard to show. It's a space heater. And the second thing is buying me a slinket, or blanket poncho. That's what I searched. And it fits, and it's working. I am so much warmer than wearing uh, regular sh clothes. And if I want to do a little warm-up, I don't know if you can hear that. Right now there's hot air. I can open it up, and the hot air will go inside the blanket, and it's, ah, delightful. Ah. This is delightful. But today is not that. Today is another celebration day, as I also have one planned for next week because I'm super excited about the celebration. This time is something I think is uh, cool for me. Number one, uh, Orange Theory, this thing called Hell Week. And I finished it instead of doing the whole t-shirt thing. Got myself a Hell Week band for my um, heart rate monitor. That's so cool. Thank you, Orange Theory. Rent and Highlands, you guys are the best. Got so much encouragement today. I had a nice conversation with this lady named Nancy, who was nice enough to tell me, you know, she's been, I mean, she's been a member there for like six years. So she was, she saw me a few times in the year and a half that I joined and talking about like how proud of she is and like how she can see the improvement. And that's always nice to hear. I like, I like hearing praise. I know a lot of times there's something about, uh, mentioning certain aspects, but I, I like that praise because I am proud of myself. This last year and a half has been very hard, and I'm feeling better and better and better and better and better and better, which makes me super happy. But this is also not just a celebration of doing four workouts and what they call Hell Week, and they were pretty hard workouts. Um, I did one on Friday, and that workout was really hard on my hips. And all weekend, I felt like it was last year. <laughs> and I was just in pain all the time. It was the first time I was kind of sore in a long time. Like, I haven't really been sore from Orange Theory in a while. Uh, I mean, I've been worn out and worked out hard, but just like sore, sore. But my hips are so sore in that workout. So it was, was a good workout. And the other thing I like to celebrate is one of my goals of working out when I went on this journey and decided to go to Orange Theories to work out three times a week, i.e. 12 times a month, is how I decided to count that. If I work out 12 times a month, there's a good chance I'm working out three times a week. And average. And that's what that article I read, that state, you know, the best thing you can do for mortality is to, not, is to drink moderately, and I, and I do. I mean, I had some drinks on... Saturday playing board games with my friends, but before that, I think the last time I drank was the last time I played board games. So I drink almost monthly at this point. Uh, not smoke, which I don't and never have and never will because I'm not a fan of it. Um, I'm somebody who's very happy that the smoke ban went into effect because, man, I love... I used to go to a bar and watch football all day, and my clothes would stink so bad of smoke before that ban went into effect. And I would actually feel kind of sick. I'm so happy I, I don't have to go through that anymore. Hopefully I haven't didn't do any permanent lung damage doing that. And the other thing is eat five fruits and vegetables a day. I, I'm not perfect at that, but I know I'm better in the last year and a half. And the other one was to work out three times a week for 30 minutes of high intensity workout. Or, you know, it could probably be walking. But, and you do that and your risk of mortality like, if you do those things, your mortality risk is doesn't really matter your weight as much. I mean, it's still, like, kind of double for the people who aren't overweight. But, like, the people who are overweight and don't do those things, the mortality for skinny people is, like, up to there. And, the you know, it's, like, three to four times as much. It's, like, actions mean more. Um and, you know, there's also a lot of variables with being overweight. You know, it's overweight people don't go to the doctor and stuff like that. Well, anyway, those are the most important things. And uh, so it's been since February when I first hit 12 workouts because I had to work up to that. Because, holy crap, when I first started, this was super hard for me. 
uh, since that, since February, I have gotten at least 12 workouts a week since February. So now it's October, so that's a nine months straight. And I'm only celebrating now at this weird month nine is because this month I actually noticed that. I was looking at my uh, monthly, uh, monthly I look at things. In fact, I can even talk about my monthly update. Uh, I got almost one whole uh, mile per hour more than last year at this time. Or I got up 0.2 miles uh, from last month per thing. So my workout is harder and better. And my incline even went up 20 feet per workout. Uh, it's over almost over a full mile from last year. And also double the amount of incline um, that I'm doing and almost double the amount of, actually it was double the amount of distance because I think I worked out one extra day than I did October of last year, which was 11. And so, yeah, so this is just a lot of celebration. So I'm doing really well in my workout. I know I have a long way to go to feel like in shape or whatever that means. I still feel very out of shape because I can't jog. For instance, I feel like I'm in a situation where I have to run away to survive that I'm most likely going to be dead. So hopefully I'm not in a situation where I have to do that. And, you know, going up and down stairs isn't the easiest thing for me. But at the same time, I'm feeling so much better than last year. Um, just making strides and I can feel myself improving over and over and over again. And I look forward to seeing where I am a month from today and then a month from that day then a month from that day as I feel like I'm improving now on a monthly basis rather than a three four five or six monthly basis like every month this year has been great for just every month I've gone up at least 0.1 for the last like seven eight months so probably February I've gone at least up 0.1 on my average so I'm moving faster with even more elevation it's it's great I'm really happy and I'm hoping to continue my 200th workout is next week, so I'll do a 200, 200 uh, workout celebration video, and I'm hoping to start averaging in like four months, so February, I'll be doing one, hopefully I'm averaging three miles per hour per uh, workout, not per three miles, not averaging, but making that my base, pace, because right now I'm doing like 2.35 miles per hour, which is so much better than last year, which was like 1.3 one so yeah hooray so much celebration uh so much hopefully saving money with my like it so thank you for uh supporting me thank you for being there for me i love you for who you are and mwah